Hello, this is Graphing Linear Equations, uh, Graphing Linear Functions, Example 6. And 6 has a story problem, and um, it's talking about a runner. And it says the distance that the runner runs is equal to 6t, where t is the time in hours. And the runner plans to run up to 1.5 hours. Graph the function and identify the domain and the range. Well, uh, let's see. We've got uh, distance equals 6t. So this is very similar to what we're used to. We would be used to an equation like y equals 6x. And that would make uh, more sense to us that they just want us to change our way of thinking a little bit. So what we were thinking of y, now we just have to think of it as a d for this um, problem. And what we were thinking of as x is, we have to think of those as t's for this problem. So we, when we set up our graph where we used to have the y-axis, we'll have a d-axis. Instead of the x-axis, we'll have a t-axis. Um, in our uh, table, instead of a, a, uh, a row for the x and a row for the y, we're going to have a row for the t, and we're going to have a row for the d. And it says that the time is going to be up to one and a half hours. So I guess the time could be zero if he didn't want to run at all. The time couldn't be negative, of course. So I've uh, set up a little table. And I've let the t be zero. And I've chosen 0.5, 1, and 1.5 is the greatest that it can be. So, uh, by the way, that is our domain. Our domain uh, means uh, what is the t going to be? Usually when we're looking at the domain, we look at the x. But our x is a t in this case. So the domain is going to be t greater than 0. Actually, t greater than or equal to 0. And t less than or equal to 1.5. And using this formula, we're going to figure out values for the distance. And it's always times 6. So I'll take a little shortcut here. Uh, we always have to take the t and multiply times 6. So when t is 0, 6 times 0 is 0. When t is 0 0.5, it's 6 times 0 0.5, which is 3. When t is 1, it's 1 times 6, which is 6. And when t is 1.5, it's 6 times 1.5, which is 9. OK, now we're ready to graph this. Now, like I said, uh, we're going to, in our graph, where we would usually have an x-axis, it's going to be a t-axis. Where we would usually have a d-axis, it is a where we would usually have an, a y-axis, it's a d-axis. So we have the point uh, 0, 0. We have the point, point 0.5, which is right there on my graph, comma 3, 1, comma 6, and 1.5, comma 9. So that's my graph. And uh, this time, because of restrictions on the domain, the graph is only going to go from here to there. And the last thing they said was identify the domain and the range. And we've already talked about that uh, as far as the domain is concerned. The domain, the domain is equal to uh, t is our domain, so it's t greater than or equal to 0, and t less than or equal to 1.5. Now the range has to do with these d values. 
and D is going to be greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0, and it's going to be less than or equal to 9. 